Hello and welcome to the Thursday, March 26, 2020 edition of the Sands and its Storms on us Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. If you're wondering what Tridex is up to, well, of course, nothing good, but Brad is walking you through some recent examples. Tridex, again, often arrives as a fake voicemail or a fake shipping notification from DHL, FedEx, and others, and actually makes the user work a little bit to get infected. It first then downloads a zip file that has to be opened and the visual basic script inside that zip file has to be executed. And then you probably heard in the news the stimulus package that uh, is about to be finalized in the US. I'm expecting quite a few scams to sort of latch on to this. Uh, people have a lot of questions about how this will work, uh, how these checks will be distributed. And I'm pretty sure that uh, some enterprising bad guy will probably come up with a site that'll ask you for your account, bank account number and the like in order to transfer the money to you. If you're seeing any scams like this, uh, please let us know. Also, still lots and lots of other COVID-19 related scams just uh, before recording got uh, sort of one of those really weird uh, kind of uh, ransom attempts where someone claiming to be my neighbor actually says that unless I transfer some money via Bitcoin, they're going to infect me. And HP Enterprise released a critical update for some of its uh, SaaS solid state drives that will fail after exactly 40,000 hours of operation unless you apply this update. There have been similar issues like this before. It usually involves some kind of counter that keeps incrementing and then running out of bits. The problem, of course, is since it will affect drives based on the number of hours of operation, if you, for example, fired up a RAID array at a particular time, all drives in that RAID array may fail simultaneously. So definitely make sure that you have that update applied. Now, 40,000 hours. I think that's about uh, sort of uh, 10 years. So you'll have some time here, but still uh, don't let this uh, run away from you. And antivirus company Dr. Webb is reporting about some fake Google Chrome updates that are installing malware. Now, apparently they do originate from compromised Word press sites where the attacker did add additional JavaScript in order to create the pop-up or redirect the users to that fake download page. Of course, we always teach people to keep their systems up to date. One of the nice things about uh, Google Chrome and actually most current browsers is that you don't really have to worry about it. They pretty much update themselves without any user interaction or even user notification. And looks like banking Trojans are getting a little bit better in going after two-factor authentication in Europe, where two-factor authentication in particular, so-called transaction numbers or TANs, are often the norm. Bots like TrickBot, after they install themselves on the user's desktop, will ask for a mobile phone number in order to then send an SMS message to the user's mobile phone, asking them to download a security application, as they put it. Now, IBM's X-Force has a good write-up about this. They call it Trick Mo, Mo for mobile, and Trick, of course, from TrickBot, and it will then intercept a SMS messages or record other one-time password applications as long as the application has access to them. Now on Android, uh, this application, as it claims it is a security application, will of course ask for respective rights in order to monitor the system and with that trick the user into giving it all the access it needs in order to get to uh, these one-time passwords. 
Now this attack is pretty much targeting Germany. In Germany, the mobile tan, as they call it, is really sort of one way to actually authenticate. Some bank customers use a standalone device of to create these transaction numbers and this form of two-factor authentication should not be interceptable by this particular attack. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.